what's going on everyone welcome back to sense of south jersey with me kellen for another fragrance review going to be doing an individual review today taking a look at a powerhouse from the late 1980s it is from 1987 from the house of bijan it is bijan for men by bijan so as usual what we'll do we'll break down the fragrance into five parts its presentation its notes its performance based on my experience wearing it, my thoughts and opinions, and then I'm gonna give the fragrance my overall rating. Um, you know, before we jump into the video, guys, as usual, if it's your first time here, make sure to subscribe, check out the Instagram page, which is just Sense of South Jersey for news and updates on the channel, photos of fragrances for my collection, and daily scent of the day posts. Also, if you have a TikTok, check out Sabro88 for some champagne sabering fun. And again, I've been mentioning my Mercari username, which is SOSJ. If you have a interest in buying some vintage or discontinued or more rare fragrances and you can't find them elsewhere, check them out there. Mercari's great. I use it. I sell and I buy from it often. And, you know, fragrances that are in my collection that I've enjoyed that I don't find myself wearing, I have listed up there too. So they're up for grabs. And, you know, you guys can message me to make, you know, uh, inquiries about them, you know, offers, or just if you have any questions about it, always feel free to hit me up. So uh, let's not waste any more time and let's check out Bijan for men. All right, so let's start things off with the presentation. So let's take a look at the box. This is a pretty interesting box here. Um, I, you know, I think this is, you know, probably the more recent formulation. I've had this fragrance for, I would say, maybe about two years now. Um, so you're gonna see the ring light reflection there, but it says Bijan and that does in black and white, pretty bold looking box. It does wrap around there. On the top, you do not have anything. On the back, you just have some brand information. This is uh, from Five Star per Fragrance Company. It's manufactured uh, in the United States. It's made in the United States. And it looks like it does have, you know, another uh, subsidiary company that is in France there. Um, but I know this is made in the U.S. here. Let's take a look. There's the barcode. Um, box opens up just like this. There is a French wrapper in the box. And when we take a look at the bottle, it's the very iconic looking donut hole bottle. So um, you can see it here. This is a, what is this? It's an eau de toilette. It's, I think, a 2.5 fluid ounce, so 75 ml. The cap is here. You can pick it up by the cap. The cap is, it, it's very, it's this unique looking bottle. The cap, in my opinion, looks like a Sultan's like uh, turban or sort of headdress or ceremonial hat here. And, you know, the, the bottle just has this circular you know, opening there, um, you know, you can see the difference where, where, the, where the juice splits. It's golden juice. It says Bijan for men. We'll take a look at the sprayer. Decent sprayer. Does get a lot out there. Um, on the bottom here, you can see it's got the sticker. You can check that out. And, you know, very interesting. I think they have 50 mLs. I don't know if they have 100 mLs of this. I didn't see anything. I think this is the largest size. Um, but it's an interesting bottle. Very unique. Not like anything else I have. Okay, with the notes for Bijan for men, guys, I'm not even gonna list them. There are 30 different notes split up between the top, the middle, and the base. It's it's so 80s in that regard where it has just a, a melting pot of all these different things. But some of the ones that I do pick up on the most and the ones that I did when I was doing my research about it that are just really prevalent in the fragrance are moss, lemon, lavender, honey, sandalwood, cinnamon, amber, clove, and... Um, that's, those are the notes that I get the most, you know, especially the amber. It's classified as an amber fougere. And, you know, you, sometimes you hear the words like different versions of fougeres thrown around, like an oriental fougere or an amber fougere. But this is a pretty textbook amber fougere. I think that's a very prevalent note in this, among many other ones. But it, it, for to me to list that, it, it wouldn't even make sense. There's just so many. I would just be rifling off a list of 30 different notes. But the ones that I mentioned are really the ones that I think that are going to be the standout notes in this fragrance. Okay, the performance for Bijan for men. In my experience, this is, you know, pretty close to beast mode. It's definitely a work day for sure. Um, just in the few sprays on my hand that I did earlier when I was talking about the presentation and looking at the, the, the distribution from the atomizer, it is just filling this area. Uh, I think it projects a lot in the beginning. It'll definitely last on clothes and skin. Uh, and even I noticed it at the gym even when I put another like freshy cologne on, like I've been using the Pinot Silvestre Sport Cologne recently, and this has been coming through my pores when I sweat, 
and I smell that and not the Sport Cologne even after having recently applied a different fragrance. So the uh, performance on this is, is really good, especially at the price point. So I'm definitely getting between eight and nine hours, uh, maybe even more, maybe depending on you know how it fits on your skin, how what's gonna work on your skin, it may even last longer, but definitely pretty beast mode for Bijan for men, no complaints in the performance department. Okay, so it's time for my overall thoughts for Bijan for Men by the House of Bijan. So, um, you know, just let's just get a little bit more. Let's get that opening again here. This is a textbook, perfect definition of like one of those quality 80s bargain bin fragrances. I think this can be had for like 18 or $19. So, and, and, and it's gonna last you because it, it performs well. You don't need a ton of sprays. However, I, I blast away with this one. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'll use a lot of it on clothes because I just like to do that anyway. And you know, I, I try to get through bottles and, and utilize what I have because after this review, I may not wear this one for a while. So I definitely wanted to put a, a decent dent in it and get you know some wear before I make the actual review. So you know, again, it's a bargain bin fragrance. It, it's good. Um, I definitely think it would be polarizing though. Like I like it. Uh, it definitely has some barbershop vibe to it, but it also reminds me of like, you know, I would say like a Persian palace. Like this is a very Middle Eastern look to it. It's got a little bit of the funk in it as well too, but it's got the amber and it, it does that very well without, it's not like a typical green fougere like the ones that I usually gravitate towards. So it has a little bit of the barbershop, but it also has a little bit of the, uh, spicy and cinnamon and uh, you know kind of like a, a nice Christmas soap bar my girlfriend said I smelled like Christmas she really wasn't a fan I've been enjoying it and I wore it a while back when I first got it and I thought it was okay and uh, then someone had hit me up about it again I'm like all right let me let me let me give Bijan another try and I, I have been enjoying it I wouldn't say it's the greatest fragrance ever because there's also a part of me that thinks like I mentioned like the Persian palace the royalty like again this side it looks like a sultan here uh, of some sort you know like I think of uh, Mehmet the, the the second the photo of him you know after you know uh, some sort of battle and he's got the huge headdress on that's what it reminds me of it also reminds me of maybe walking into say like a convenience store gas station and the guy behind the register just reeks of cologne and that this is what he would be wearing because he's worn it since 1987 and it was his first bottle and the only bottle he's ever had and I don't even mean that as a diss I just feel like that's the vibe I get because it could go either way with this one um, but it does have a strong cinnamon you know um, uh, sandalwood aroma it's almost like the rough around the edges Chanel egoist and that fragrance is unbelievably well done and this could be like it's you know sort of like backwoods cousin that uh, smells like this with a hint of denim in there too because you definitely get a little bit of funkiness in there so it, it may not be for everybody but it definitely is um, a, a scent that is worth checking out and you're not gonna spend a lot of money on it too so it, it smells good apparently it was the signature scent of Arnold Schwarzenegger you know, could you, I mentioned many videos when I'm talking about this one before in a list, it's like him, I love Bijan, but you know, I don't know if that's confirmed. I don't know where I can confirm that Arnold wore it. And if it's good enough for Arnold, it's good enough for anybody because he is the man, especially when you think about 80s movies. Um, and this is an 80s fragrance, but it, it, it definitely is something that's gonna last, um, I would say evening wear for sure, cooler weather for sure. Uh, if you go light, maybe you could wear it all year round. Again, see, I, I start to not really care so much about the seasons. If you like something, you, you know, you can wear it. Um, definitely, you know, I would say, yeah, out you can wear it going out make it your signature scent it's inexpensive enough to where you can do that might be a little bit strong for the office if you're conscious of maybe overdoing it but um, again if you like it and you only have a few fragrances whoops you could absolutely wear this one so i would imagine that Bijan is going to be not for everybody it's going to be something that um, you know if you like these style uh, fragrances old classic fougeres you're going to enjoy it I do, but this is a different take and really goes deep into that amber, but it doesn't overdo it with the amber and vanilla because vanilla is one of the 30 notes in the fragrances. So um, it's not too sweet and it stays really robust, strong, masculine, spicy. Um, and it's a definitely a, a nice, inexpensive, cheap powerhouse. Okay, it's time for my overall ratings for Bijan for men by the house of Bijan too. So presentation wise, uh, the box is pretty standout. The bottle is obviously unique. I don't necessarily love the bottle and I'm gonna give it a six and a half out of 10 for the presentation. As far as the performance goes, no complaints. I'm getting between eight and nine hours. I'm actually gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and go for a nine out of 10 for the performance because this stuff lasts and lasts on me. And for the scent, like I said, it's good, not great. However, I do enjoy it. I'm not hating on the fragrance. I, it's something I'm gonna wear and I probably will 
still finish this bottle. It's a good scent. Scent's gonna be a seven out of 10, which is gonna bring the overall rating for Bichon for Men by me to a seven and a half out of 10. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for me for my review of Bichon for Men by the House of Bichon, the 1987 Amber Fougere, again, it's an eau de toilette, 2.5 ml bottle. So I would love to hear from you guys in the comment section. Please let me know, what do you think of this fragrance? Do you own it? Is it one that you've had? Do you really enjoy it? Have you gone through bottles? Have you tried it and it wasn't for you? Do you agree with my rating that it's it's good, but it's not spectacular? Um, again, I, I sort of, it reminds me of, like I said, a rough around the edge of Chanel Egoiste with uh, a mix of denim, and it, it's it's gonna be a polarizing scent overall. I did enjoy it though. Please let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts. You guys know I always appreciate all of the interaction. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. I would really appreciate it. We're on our way to 10,000 subscribers. It's a big milestone for me. Also, if you have the Instagram, check out the Sense of South Jersey Instagram page. Check out the TikTok. And again, if you're interested in some rare or discontinued fragrances, my Mercari page is open for business. So um, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care.